Hi folks and welcome to Attica Armory. Now, I remember from way back in the day, I was looking around on internet forums for gun information and stuff, and I used to, I remember seeing this kind of notion floating around that if you load or chamber rounds of ammunition into your gun too many times, that it'll actually, from, from the action pressing that and forcing that round up against your feed ramp, that it actually will compress the round and it'll actually press that bullet back into the cartridge case, causing the cartridge overall length to get shorter, which could result in dangerous pressures uh, happening when you actually fire that cartridge. I can see why that could be true. And uh, I kind of want to find out how true that is. Like you have to do it 50 times or do you only have to do it five times? Now, before we jump in, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to visit us at AttagaArmory.com and check out a bottle of our awesome citrus-powered synthetic CLP. You're going to love this stuff. Now, let's get to it. So I pulled out this old box of Federal Premium, and this is 9mm Luger defensive ammo. These are 147 grain Hydroshock, and these are actually a pretty old batch. I think this is probably from, I don't know, the 90s. Uh, it's been around for a long time. And I took five rounds and I measured the cartridge overall length in order to get an average overall length. And I was really quite impressed. I mean, they really had their stuff together back in the day. I mean, compared to the things that I've been seeing coming off of the factory, you know, shelves these days, um, this stuff was tight. So it was all coming out at 1.102 or 1.101. And I'm going to be using this Glock Model 19 Gen 4 pistol for this test. And I will be using the actual slide release so that there's no chance of me kind of easing it forward or doing anything like that. It's going to come forward with the full force of and this first round is measuring in at 1.102 inches let's go ahead and chamber this and find out how many times i've got to chamber it before it starts to actually shrink all right first round all right the first round did not seem to affect that at all we're still at 1.102 Almost looks like it increased in some areas. Yeah, you know, the bullet's starting to show some signs of deformation around that hollow point. I can see it. Not sure how well you guys will be able to see it, but I am able to see it. It's around seven rounds, but the cartridge overall length is still well within specs. Let's keep going. Alright, so 20 times we've chambered this thing, and it looks like, I mean, there's some sections of it that are a little bit longer than others, but it is exactly the same as it was 1.102. There's no change. And you can see it's kind of scratched up pretty good. It looks like it's been kind of beat up and scuffed up, but this round is still safe to fire after 20 times in there. So I'm going to do five more times just for safe measure. All right, so that should be like 25 times that we've done that. Chambered the same round. Now there's definitely a side of it that is starting to droop, but it's still within specs. Maybe lost like a thousandth of an inch on one side of it. Yet on the other side of it, it kind of almost gained a little bit. So that's just probably deformation of that hollow point cavity and you know, just creating some inconsistencies. But this round is still absolutely sick to fire. So I wanna say that this whole thing is a complete myth, 
But I think if you've got a decent crimp on that round, you gotta do it a lot of times. I mean, it can take some serious abuse. You gotta keep it in perspective, taking your rounds out and dry practicing every single day. You know, you might wanna swap out that, that first round maybe once a month or so, or at the very least, just keep an eye on it and measure it before you rechamber it. But for the most part, I mean, this is just almost like a non-issue in my opinion. So anyway, I hope that was helpful and thanks for bearing with me through all those rounds. And we'll see you again next time at Aga Armory.